Lecture is about carbon nanotube. This lecture will cover definition, structure, types of carbon nanotube, properties of carbon nanotube, how these are synthesized and applications of carbon nanotube. Part first of the lecture will cover definition, structure, types and property while part second of the video will cover synthesis and applications. Carbon nanotube is a tube made up of carbon with diameter in nanometer range and length in micrometers and these are considered as one of the allotrope of carbon. The graphene sheet that is a single layer of carbon atom and that has packed in a two dimension honeycomb structure. When this graphene sheet, sheet it is rolled up it will produce carbon nanotube. So graphene sheet that is two dimensional and it is rolled up it will produce one dimensional carbon nanotube. Structure and types of carbon nanotube. There are three unique geometries of carbon nanotubes and these three different geometries are also known as flavors. These three flavors are classified by how the carbon sheet is wrapped into tube and these are known as armchair, zigzag and chiral carbon nanotube. So this will show the armchair, zigzag and chiral carbon nanotube. Depending upon the cutting orientation these three armchair, zigzag and chiral carbon nanotubes are obtained. If you look at this uh, diagram here the zigzag orientation it will result in zigzag carbon nanotube. Here the armchair orientation it will produce an armchair carbon nanotube and there is another possibility that is neither armchair neither uh, zigzag and that is known as chiral nanotubes. Armchair zigzag and chiral carbon nanotube are classified on the basis of carbon carbon bond. So first we will plot the tube axis on these three carbon nanotube that are known as armchair zigzag and chiral carbon nanotube. In armchair structure the two carbon carbon bonds on opposite side of each hexagon are perpendicular to the tube axis. So this will be the tube axis and this bond this CC bond and this CC bond that are on opposite side of the hexagon are making 90 angle with tube axis. So these are perpendicular to the tube axis. Whereas in zigzag arrangement these bonds are parallel to the tube axis. So these two bonds opposite bond this one and this one these opposite bond are parallel to the tube axis. All other confirmation in which carbon carbon bonds lie at an angle to the tube axis. So here the carbon carbon bond will form a bond that is greater than 0 and less than 90. And this is known as chiral or helical structure. Circumferential vector. Circumferential vector C or chiral vector indicates the rolling up direction of carbon nanotube. And this vector is represented by Na1 plus Ma2. A1 and A2 are the lattices vector of graphene and NMM are the chiral indices. The chiral indices M and M uniquely define the chirality or rolling up direction of the carbon sheets or graphene sheets. Depending upon the cut orientation, different forms of the carbon nanotubes are obtained. If we cut graphene in this direction and roll it from the other side, the zigzag carbon nanotubes regarding the edges of the tube are obtained. If we cut graphene along this direction, the armchair will be obtained regarding the edges of the tube. There is another possibility that is neither armchair nor zigzag that is known as chiral carbon nanotube. It actually done through defining the role of vector of lattice that is CK is equal to N multiplied by A1 plus M multiplied by A2. A1 and A2 are called vector lattice and M and N show how many times this vector is repeated through for a specific 
carbon nanotube. A1, as shown here, is the vector showing moving orientation through zigzag line of the graphene sheet and, and show how many times this A1 is repeated. Another latest vector A2 defined with respect to A1 representing the oriental zigzag movement and M show how many times this A2 is repeated. If we make zigzag carbon nanotube cut graphene along this vector and roll it, roll it up to the other side. In this case we have repeated A1 and we don't have or we uh, we have no repeated value of A2. We have a notation N0. Here in this case 10 and 0 because A1 is repeated 10 times and A2 is not repeated or we have no repeated orientation of A2. Under this orientation system, zigzag carbon nanotube will have always M is equal to 0 and N should have some value. Regarding armchair carbon nanotube, M and N are always equal. So M and N both are equal here. The 7 and 7 are given. So 7 times A1 and 7 times A2 are reported. So M and N both are equal. So here it is represented and M, M is equal to N. So the same value is given. When M or N are not equal to each other, then we are talking about the chiral carbon nanotube. Considerably in terms of conductivity, not all carbon nanotubes have same characteristics. Some represent metallic behavior, another represent the semiconducting behavior. By satisfying the condition, N minus M is equal to 3 integral that will representing the metallic behavior of carbon nanotube. N minus M is not equal to 3 integral that is representing the semiconducting material. Armchair carbon nanotubes are always metallic. Zigzag carbon nanotubes are either metallic or semiconducting. Statistically, a natural mixture of carbon nanotube will have 1 by 3rd of metallic and 2 by 3rd of semiconducting chiralities. Types of carbon nanotubes. Carbon nanotubes fundamentally fall into two classes, single wall carbon nanotubes and multi wall carbon nanotubes. Single wall carbon nanotubes Single wall carbon nanotubes are the nanotube in which wall consists of only one graphene layer. If we consider this graphene that is the mono layer of carbon sheet, if it is rolled up and it will produce one wall or single wall carbon nanotubes or we can define single wall as the nanotubes that has the graphene sheet seamlessly rolled up to form hollow cylinder. So when the graphene is rolled up it will produce a hollow cylinder, cylinder that is known as a single wall carbon nanotube. That is why they are known as graphene nanotubes. Multi wall carbon nanotubes and multi wall carbon nanotubes can be viewed as a concentric arrangement of single wall carbon nanotubes which mean that it, these are consisting of multiple layer of graphene and these are rolled up seamlessly into a tube shape. We know that graphite is the multiple layer of graphene. So when the graphite is rolled up it will produce a multiple wall carbon nanotubes. Also the multiple wall carbon nanotubes are obtained from single wall carbon nanotubes. When many single wall carbon nanotubes are combined it will produce multiple wall carbon nanotubes. So the graphene will produce single wall as also the graphene will produce multiple wall, multi wall carbon nanotubes by producing first single wall and then it is converted to the multi walls. Properties of carbon nanotube, strength and elasticity. Each carbon, each carbon atom in a single sheet of graphite is connected by a strong chemical bond to three neighboring atoms. Thus mechanical tensile strength of carbon nanotubes are much higher than steel. Lightweight. 
carbon nanotubes are lightweight their density is one sixth of steel thermal conductivity carbon nanotube can exhibit super conductivity below 20 kelvin the thermal conductivity of carbon nanotubes are much better than that of diamond high aspect ratio first we will know about the aspect ratio for rod like particles such as carbon nanotubes and nanowires the aspect ratio is simply the ratio of the length to diameter whereas for planar fillers such as graphene and graphite flags it is taken to be the ratio of the lateral dimension to sheet thickness so carbon nanotube has high aspect ratio that is greater than 1000 chemical stability carbon nanotubes are highly chemical stable that make them highly resistance